What happens when you launch your app on the App Store, but you only get a few dozen downloads and no sales? That's exactly what happened to Matteo when he launched his app, Tix, a bookmark app. Hey Adam, I'm Matteo, I'm an Italian developer. Tix is something I always felt like I needed, but I can never find the right app for it. It's a secure space, to save anything, links, articles, um, notes, no server, no tracking, and with offline real later support. So the last video got about 6k views on X, but zero conversion. <laughs> Adam, can you please help me? Matteo, you've come to the right place. I'm going to give your app a 15 minute app store makeover. If you have an app that's in need of an app store makeover, Send me a message on X, Instagram, or email adamlidleapps at gmail.com. The app is Tix. Bookmark everything. It looks like this is an app that lets you save websites, videos, and notes in one place on your device without any backend server requirements. Pretty neat. And before Matteo asked me for help, he posted on Reddit to get advice. 120 pounds for a bookmark app? This app is going to flop. Brutal. I'm glad Matteo hasn't given up on this because there's something there. We just have to dig a little deeper. Okay, yeah, I can see here the app was only just released six days ago and has only had 21 downloads. Ouch. And that conversion rate, only 0.8%. That's really low. All right, I know exactly what's going on here. The App Store listing is kind of vague. Save this, save that, tick it. Doesn't tell me what the app actually does, and save everything in one place, no server in between. As a developer, I get it. It's offline, but it's a complicated way to explain to an average user who doesn't even know what a server is or care. Then the next screenshot talks about privacy, but they're just bookmarks. What are people bookmarking? Oh. And it's not until screenshot four that the app even communicates what it's about. Distraction-free, offline reading, no ads, no interruptions. Okay, I get it. Next, are people even looking for this app? And the only way to find out is to do keyword research, of course. It always starts with keyword research. This gives me a full picture of the app from a product and distribution perspective. Do people even want this app? Is the space already too competitive? And how well is it currently positioned. The app is brand new, so Astro only has one recommendation for us. Save everything. Popularity five, difficulty 50. To find other keywords, I have to use my brain. <laughs> I start by typing what I would type to find an app like this. Bookmark, bookmark website, site bookmark, save website, offline bookmarks, read later. But these are all very low popularity. Their keywords just not worth targeting. The only standout one is bookmark, which is probably just too broad to target if I'm being honest. I want to find a keyword that is relevant to the app, has good popularity, and one that actually has a chance to be ranked. To look a bit deeper, I like to check out some of the other apps in this space to see what keywords they are targeting and how the other apps are performing. Tap on the app listings on the right hand side and look at the apps the keywords in the title and the number of reviews. Sync, save everything, three reviews, quite low. Bookmarks, URL manager, 45 reviews. Getting better? Good links, 542 reviews. Actually, that's pretty good. The app is targeting the keywords, save links and read later. But look at that, the popularity is still too low. This suggests they're not relying on App Store for user acquisition, Instead, they're probably doing some sort of marketing outside the App Store. Okay, so it's clear to me, not many people are searching for a solution to save bookmarks or links to their read later list. Perhaps there's just no demand for an offline bookmark manager. And maybe Reddit was right. This app is just going to flop. Actually, no, I'm not gonna let the naysayers of Reddit have their way. There's got to be something here, I can feel it. I want Matteo to prove his haters wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I actually needed this app recently and didn't even know it. We traveled to the beautiful UK and I was in the tube somewhere between Monument Station and Whitechapel when it happened. I had no phone reception and I was bored. Everyone else was still on their phones watching movies and playing games offline. And these offline games, well, they're doing pretty well. Offline games, no Wi-Fi games had 2 million downloads last month making $70,000 in revenue. Okay, there's something here. 
What about an app that lets you save anything? Websites, articles, resources in one place, offline, with no internet connection. What if I could browse the internet offline? That's it, an offline browser. Popularity 22 and competition 65. And nobody is actually targeting the keyword. A quick look at the top ranked apps show plenty of offline music players, VPNs and browsers. Take that Glid4 from Reddit, we're gonna make it. Now our plan is simple. Target the keyword offline browser, redesign the App Store screenshots to better communicate the benefits and prove the haters wrong. First, that app icon. It looks modern and clean and all, but it's just not communicating what it is. It's an offline browser and bookmark manager. Let's start by brainstorming design ideas simply by using a bookmark and checkbox. I use Noun Project to find simple vector images to play with and then ask ChatGPT to suggest an idea from there. But this didn't work out very well. We need to communicate as simply as possible that this is an offline browser. Maybe we go super simple. Maybe just an icon of an offline browser. And it kind of works. Now let's focus on those screenshots. The benefits are buried deep here and it's too technical. Let's simplify the messaging here and bring it right back. What communicates offline mode better than the familiar airplane toggle in the notification center? With some help from ChatGPT, I can really focus on what the benefits of this app are. Offline, save, and fast. And the screenshots were already pretty good. With a splash of color, we can make them pop. For good measure, let's add a nice tick in there too, because after all, the app name is Tick. That was actually really simple. Once I worked out what the actual use case was and what people were searching for, everything else just fit into line really nicely. Before, it was confusing what the app even does. It was too technical and it was just targeting the wrong thing. Now it's clear the app is an offline browser. You save websites, images, whatever you want. And you browse it when you have no internet connection. And it turns out people just aren't looking for an offline bookmark app but they are looking for an offline browser, which is pretty much the same thing. But now it's just packaged a little bit differently to reflect that. Mateo is a young indie app developer and was the winner of Apple's 2024 Swift Student Challenge for an app that uses vision and core machine learning to easily categorize between what can be recycled and what was rubbish simply by taking a photo. I'm glad Mateo reached out and didn't listen to the naysayers. Mateo's onto something here. Go check out his app on the App Store. I'll put a link in the description. If you have an app that's struggling and needs some help, feel free to DM me on X, Instagram, or send me an email at adamlytleapps at gmail.com.